what's up guys welcome back or to the channel and today we've got a little bit of repairs and a little bit of diagnosing to do uh, if you guys have been watching the videos lately we've been out on the trails quite a bit and we've been doing pretty good nothing's been breaking down but it is winter so it's been pretty easy trails it's been pretty light the snow kind of cushions everything it kind of smooths it all out so there hasn't really been too much hectic stuff or opportunities to break things uh, which is good <laughs> so right now uh, I've been hearing a little bit of like a squeaking or a like a uh, I don't know it almost sounds like a turbo noise like almost like something is not getting air or something is spinning too fast it's it's a weird noise it's hard to listen to because I have a cutoff exhaust and my engine also has a little bit of a lifter noise so it isn't the easiest to hear but I did hear it on the ride home so I've been listening to it this week and I think I've tracked it down I went and picked up myself a new tensioner and a new idler so here we have the new idler pulley and the new tensioner now the tensioner sits on the engine like so with the engine block on this side and the radiator on this side and mine has been touching the engine block actually I uh, know that doesn't sound great but I can see that pieces of my actual pulley are kind of rubbed off and it's not doing its job anymore it's hard to turn and yeah so I can guarantee you I need to replace this this guy is also wobbling these are right next to each other on the engine and basically the noise I've been listening to is coming from that area and the only other thing that's next to these guys on the engine is the alternator my alternator has been replaced a uh, two years ago I believe so I'm not thinking it's the alternator but just to make sure, what we're going to do is go downstairs, I'm going to warm it up, let you guys listen to the noise that I'm hearing, and then I'm going to take the belt off, start it again, let it run for a second, not for too long, and just let you guys listen to it, and we'll see if it's actually these pulleys or not, if, it's, if the noise is still there. And then we'll replace these, put them back on, and if the noise comes back, then I'm pretty sure it's going to be the alternator, and that's going to be our next thing that we're going to have to address. So, first things first, let's go down, let's listen to the noise, and we'll replace these two guys. Alright, now that we've got it up to operating temperature, let's go and let's take a listen. Now, it is a little bit loud, like I said, I do have a little bit of a lifter noise. It's not that prominent, but I know I do need to address that, and that will be addressed soon. But right now, we're listening for something a little bit different, and you can hear it most coming from this section over here and it basically sounds like it could be either the alternator the idler or the tensioner and i checked by taking the belt off and spinning all three by hand and both the idler and the tensioner were questionable as you guys saw what i told you about the uh, tensioner the idler kind of wobbles a bit so i figured those aren't expensive let's replace them let's see if that addresses it but before we do that let me give you guys a chance to listen to it and see if you guys can hear the noise that I'm trying to tell you I hear and see if you guys can diagnose it or tell me a little bit more So let's shut her off for now and basically the noise that I'm talking about that I've been hearing is kind of like a almost sounds like a bearing gone or something it's like a whirring noise or like almost a whooshing noise I can't really explain it and I don't really want to recreate it because I know I'm just gonna do it horribly but you can kind of hear it it almost sounds like an electric motor when you have an electric motor on like a toy car or something and you spin it without giving it power and you hear that like electric noise it has a similar noise so go back replay that clip for yourself you can kind of hear it there it gets louder with the rpms so that's why i was revving it for you and yeah hopefully you guys could hear it but now let's tear it apart real quick and let's go for it so first thing guys is to take off the belt and relieve the pressure on everything once you get a half inch ratchet in there into the actual tensioner, you can pull on it and relieve the pressure on the belt, like so. Once you take the belt off of one of them, it's easier to take it off of the idler over here and just move it out of the way for now. You can see my idler. It's 
a little wobbly. So that's not a good thing. It shouldn't be making noises like that. This isn't making noises right now. And it's not moving, it's not wobbling. The gear, or the bearing I should say, seems fine. This however, you can see it's a little eaten up and a little chewed up over here on this end. So what we're gonna have to do is take this off and replace this. So let's try and get this guy off. All right guys, so after a bit of fucking around, I don't know how, but somebody managed to strip this bolt, which is I guess why they never replaced this. But I managed to beat a socket or a bit in there. And bingo bango, somehow Mikey got it out. Don't know if I'm getting it back in with the same bolt. We might have to go run and get a bolt, but we got her out. Oh great, it's a specialty one. So you can see there, the head does not look very great. Somebody definitely had a day with this, but let's see if we can manage to pry this off now. I might actually have to pry this off. It's like cooked on there. Now you guys can see just how bad the old one is. One of the actual pins broke off, hopefully not in the engine. Yep, it's in there. Gonna have, I'm gonna have to try to get a pair of pliers and pull that out. But you can see that's just how corroded it is. This is probably the original one. And yeah, she was right in the engine block. So let's go get the new one and I'll show you guys the difference. But first, I think I need to pull that one out. Yeah, there you go, Chrysler logo. This is definitely a brand new one. And made in Canada and made in Canada. So this is, looks like an original one because they do make Chrysler parts just down the street from here. And there's the logo. Grab my power tools. I've got a drill and a grinder and a couple other things. I don't have my extractor set, which I wish I had with me. Unfortunately, I don't have that here. But if you take a look at these two, when this one broke off, it looks like it broke off a while ago. This probably shifted a little bit, it looks like to here. And that's what was pushing it off center or off angle or whatever you want to call it and it wasn't sitting flat, it was sitting a little bit cockeyed and that's why it got that rubbing. And it was rubbing on the case right down here. It's a little bit hard to see, but there is a big rub mark over there. So now, let's see if maybe we can grab a drill bit and drill this out. I'm hoping that when the drill bit catches, it kind of loosens that piece in there and lets it fall out. I uh, don't have high hopes for that, but uh, what we're gonna do is hit it with a smaller size drill bit, then I'm gonna hit it with a bigger one until I work my way up to this size. And hopefully, yeah, I get it out. If not, then I'll just drill it out to this size and we'll get her in there. That isn't actually a piece of the engine. This is sort of like a mount that's for the alternator. So worst comes to worst, I can get a new one of those, but I kinda wanna get the Jeep back together today. So let's see if we can drill that out. Probably should have moved this a little earlier, I'm not going to lie, would have given me a bit more room there for the drill since we're replacing it anyway, but I was in the zone there and I didn't think, <laughs> but here we are, we'll get her out, nice.
so pretty much anything that could have went wrong went wrong <laughs> the bolt was stripped this broke off but we made it guys we made it check it out she fits and it's not touching the block so that means we're in business now let's bolt it up and let's replace that other bearing as well or that other pulley i should say i feel nauseous believe me never had a lot of shit come easy had to work hard struggle just to be me had to rise up just so they could see me did what i had to do just to feed me and what was left over i put towards my dreaming but the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for believe me Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility, convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours It takes to get some power, don't be fucking yeah, Just take a listen to the old one It was definitely time to replace it. So now that we've got both of those replaced, I'm interested to take the belt off and run it for a second just to see if I still hear that noise. I won't be running it long because the water pump won't be running, but I'm just gonna run it long enough to see if I can hear that noise, probably about 20 to 30 seconds, and we'll shut her back off. Now when you're doing something like this, make sure you know exactly how your belt goes on so that when you do go to put it back on, you know what you're doing. This also gives you a good opportunity to inspect the entire belt, check it for any cracking or wear or any kind of uneven wear or just anything that looks odd or suspicious because you definitely do not want this to go on you. But I replaced mine recently, which is why we're not replacing it today. As you can see, there's no cracking. It still looks pretty much as it should. And it's not very old, so that's why it should look good. And yeah, so let's take this off put it to the side, clear off all my tools and everything else around here, and we'll run it for a second. All right, let's see what we got. To be honest, I don't think I hear it, but I guess we'll find out when we put on the belt. This was basically just to check the alternator because we know that those two won't be making noise now. So if the alternator doesn't, if the alternator doesn't make any noise, then we should be good. And I think we'll be ready to go. Now make sure the belt is seated properly everywhere on all the pulleys. And if you ever do throw a belt or you ever need to put a belt back on for whatever reason, just remember, it goes on the pulleys with the ribbed side and it goes on the uh, like the other pulleys, I guess, without the, without the teeth, with the flat side. So the ribbed side always goes on the ribbed ones, flat side always on the flat side, and that should kind of help you route it. It is pretty simple. Once you kind of get the hang of it and you know how yours is routed the first time, it's not that hard to reroute it if you have it fall off or something. guys take a listen I also think I know what that other noise is that I've been hearing or adding to it at least 
I recently replaced my throwout bearing and if you hear There's almost like a whistling when I have the clutch out, like a woo, if you guys listen really closely. So yeah, I'm not sure what that would be. Like I said, I just changed out, changed out the throw out bearing. So I don't know if that's a normal noise or what it is, but uh, that's brand new. So for now, I think we're gonna call it a day. I think we should be good. And yeah, I think we're done with repairs, at least for tonight. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are fester We managed to get it done against the odds The bolt didn't want to come out then the rest of the actual pulley didn't want to come out it was a shit show but we got her out and somehow everything is fixed uh i don't know if that noise is something to actually be concerned about like i said i just changed the throw out bearing about a week ago and i've never really had a new throw out bearing in this thing it was really bad it was totally done out like it was not functioning at all and I guess maybe the new one is making a noise just because I'm not used to hearing that noise. The noise that I was hearing before was probably uh, not supposed to be there at all. So now I guess I'm gonna just drive around, see how it drives, because everything should be fine. Uh, it's been driving great since I put in the new throw bearing. The clutch feel is awesome. It actually feels like it has a brand new clutch in it. Uh, I've tist, uh, I've tist, I've test driven brand new JL Wranglers, and the clutch almost feels identical to the one I have now because. I've replaced pretty much everything. So almost everything in that Jeep that I have is new. Even though she looks a little rough around the edges, mechanically, that thing is solid as a tank. So now we should be pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna drive it around, take it on the trail, see how it is. And if we still keep hearing that noise or if it gets any worse, then I'll know it's the throw out bearing. And yeah, so for now, at least I know I don't have to change the alternator. I have been doing a lot of winching lately, so I think I might need to get myself a high output alternator soon. But for now, I think we can uh, save our pennies and wait till, the, uh, till another day and do it then. Because, yeah, I don't really want to keep throwing parts at this thing I don't need to throw at it. So let's just keep enjoying it and keep going on the trails and see what we can do. But I think that's pretty much going to about cover it for today's video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, jump down there, hit that like button, leave me a comment. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because, trust me, there's tons more content coming your way. And if you guys like off-roading and Jeep mods, then I've got tons more videos for you. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then guys, ride safe out there. Peace.